Yo guys, so yeah, uh, welcome to my channel, um, it's Mr. 200 Meters here. Um, today, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to talk about how to cheat on your blood clot barber. And now you're probably in uni, you know, you're probably thinking, you know what, I'm trying to, I'm trying to find that barber, but I don't know, you know, I don't know where to go. So today, I'm going to teach you ways to successfully cheat on your blood clot. Still up quarter to nine a.m. Still ignoring the signs, mayhem. It's all in my mind's what they're saying, but we're all on the grind for the payments. I walk on the side of the pavements, thoughts in my mind, the spaceship that'll take us all to the sky. Get me. If you're in uni, you know, you came to new scenes, you don't you're out of ends. You ain't got your barber, but the trim might be looking a bit a bit mad, you get me? First tip I'm gonna tell you guys, literally, yeah? Use your friends. Use your boys as bait. This is what I would usually do. Your friend. You know, you find a, you find a barber yet? Yeah? Nah, G, nah, 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 I ain't find a barber. Oh, do you know what? I must have heard about one place like there, fam. Yeah, I must have seen some other guy with a nice chin. Snake your friends, low key, low key, it's for the good cause. Your chin needs to be loud, lads. You understand? So, it's so that barber. Oh, I swear, is you good? It's only safe, fam. I've heard in it, like, get me. Yeah. Go with your boy, let him get his trim done, and then see the results. Best way, easiest way I've found, um, yeah, or if you want to be a nicer guy, that's up to you, innit, Emmy? If you want to be nicer, then I would say uh, wait for one person you know to go get a trim at somewhere. Um, and then wait for the results and then you can get me. So see what the, what, the, what the outcome is. So number one, use your friends as bait. My second tip, look for a bald guy in the barber. If you see that bald guy, get a shape up. You know that barber's good. Do you know why? If as a person you see a barber shaping up a board, there's nothing there. What are you shaping up? But do you know what? It's about the quality. That barber's got ambition. Feel me? Ambition. Those barbers that create hairlines out of no hair, that is something that is important for your trim, lads. You understand? Important for your trims. You can't sleep on that. You cannot sleep on that. Look out for the guy with the messiest hair, least hair. Look for what the barber does. Does the barber still shape it up or does he ignore it? If he shapes it up, an ambitious guy is always better. As a child, I've been raised to... You understand? You've got to be ambitious. Number three. If you hear Congolese music, <laughs> automatically know that there's a 70% chance that trim is going to bank. Because them guys are do oh yeah, my do. Get me? You see the way they... Yeah? If you watch, you know, get me like... Like their hands are stable. Congolese men have stable hands, most of them. So, this is a good sign because you want stable hands on your head. You want the best treatment. You want someone with rhythm, finesse. S nah, not swag, Congolese guys. <laughs> Listen, you want somebody that knows what he's doing, in control, feels like a man. Get me? That's when you go for your barber and girls, if, you got, if, you, if you're doing that young. Trim journey in it. Shout out to the them paintings with a short head. You want to slap the head? You understand? Yeah. I'm walking in. At least I'm gonna inquire about it. Yeah. Another tip. I don't know if this is just a hunch. I don't know what this is. Never ever go to the guy closest to the door. I don't know why. But clearly, for him to be close to the door, he ain't wise. Because he's gonna be subject to cold, rain, cigarette smoke, big yashes walking through the window. He's, he's not focused. focused. If you want to be focused, you go to the center too. There's always a center barber. You understand? It's always the center one. That's what I would recommend, yeah? I don't know if it's where it is, but it's just, it's just the way it is. I've been to a couple of different barbers. I've cheated on my barber successfully. I'm not gonna show you my trim right now because it's slightly expired, but I'm about to go cheat again tomorrow. You understand, come on. Don't always go to the guy in the closest because that was a poor decision in itself because you're gonna be cold. Cold means shivering, shivering means shakes, shakes, shakes. You don't want shakes when you're lined up unless you're gonna be looking like Bill Cosby. Look at your barber's trim. If your barber has a dead trim, you got a question, you got a question, man. You got to ask what's going on. Right right home. Home. A man that can't take care of himself, can't take care of his neighbour. You need to understand that. So, you need to double check. My G, your trim is ugly. Are you okay? Do you need some support at home? Is everything okay? Like, can I trust you? Look at it. If he has a beard, look at the shape up and the gradient of his beard. If his beard is picky, you don't have picky beards for fashion. You know what I mean? This isn't Togo. You gotta take care of the beard. If, if you can see it's taken, well taken care of, you can see a little bit of a lineup, even if it's expired, but you can see the potential, eh? yeah? Then I would recommend, lads. That is a barber you can successfully cheat on your barber with. 
Because I know times get hard. So you got to do what you got to do. Feel me? Get yeah, I me? Mean, you got to do what you got to do. We got to still look nice for these raves, you know, look nice for the gyanim. Obviously, you got to do it for self confidence as well. Because when you, you know, when you get trimming and you walk into the, you walk into the room like the man, like yo, we saying, baby, we saying, hey, hey, wait, what's your number? Hey, what's your library code, fam? Let me borrow a book for you, G. It's you know it is, man. Obviously, look at the ratio of the people in the barber. This might sound a bit mad, but if that barber is always packed out, then you know. There's potential for it to be a good barber. Never ever walk into an empty barber. If your barber is empty, it should always be by chance, not by fashion. It shouldn't be always the way it is. It should only be by chance you walk in like, oh, all right, it's empty. Oh, can I have a chimp? Yeah, you're next. Ah, oh, thank God. That's what it should be. It should never ever be empty by default. That's how you know that that barber is not getting business. That barber must have dead trims. You understand? Whereas if you're walking and you always have to wait at least 50 minutes to an hour or as in in the in the line before you know if you're next or not, that is a barber worth investing your time in. Good things in life come to those who wait. That's my tip to you from my tip from my father. Five don'ts. Five tips for you to realise you're going to get messed up. One, if you walk in and you can... Oh, Rastafari! There's too much going on. There's a lack of focus. That barber has potential to lose focus while shaping you up. Yeah? And you have to look at the positioning of the chair, everything. Yeah. If there's too much going on in that barber's in terms of noise and too much screaming and shouting and it's looking like a social club, lads, be careful because your trim is under threat. That's number one. Number two is don't. A barber that talks too much. Uh -uh. Never. A barber that is always chatting rubbish to the next person and the one that's always doing You're right, yo, 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 G, you're right, you're right Mind you, focus on me, get me? Focus on me If your barber is always looking out there then you know he's not serious Because when he's doing zzzz, your zzzz, Yep, your trim done gone as well your, your hairline done gone out the window as well, you know? You know? You understand? Get me? Number three Number three there's always one barber that is never, never has anybody. I mean, it's obvious. Don't go to that one. Wait. Never be rushed. If you see a barber that's always, always has nobody, then there has to be a reason why he has nobody. Self-explanatory. If you go there, that's under your own, innit? He might be a good barber, innit? But, like I said, if you go back to the first advice I gave you, use your man name as bait. Bait somebody. Yo, G, yo, that barber's free, fam. Like, get your trim quicker, you know? G, bam, boom. Watch him. If he's ready, if he's nice, bang. And if you have a lot of barbers that only cut black people, just just black people, then there's two ways to flip this. You can see, you can you can even tell that the barber doesn't have a lot of finesse. As in, a good barber is able to cut diverse hairs: Asian, white folk hair, black hair, girls hair, picky hair, Nigerian hair. <laughs> Be aware of that. If you see a barber only cutting one demographic all the time, it's not necessarily a bad sign because a lot of black people usually the ones that go to certain barbers for trims. There's, there's certainly, there's, there's certainly, there's, there's. Do that. We, 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 we. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. It's most definitely a demographic attached to a black barbers, and there's also that white barbers as well. Um, more scissors based and obviously black barbers are more bzzz, you know look out for that and I'll be kept listen guys I had an encounter with a Jamaican barber one time and I bid you not I fell asleep in the chair because I should be able to trust my barber um, and you know you're dozing off at this point and he's already told me. I told him I want one I told him you know the ECG line where you have a little I told him, just give me one, I think it was on this side or on the right side, just give me one little line, that's it, big man ting, I walk up and I see Usain Bolt zigzag, not just one line as well, on the side of my head I say three lines, three whole lines in my, well, dyslexia, three whole lines in my hair, now, you lot know that this is year 7 trim, you can't be doing that in uni, Get me? I was a year seven trim. 
So at this point, I'm thinking, I'm Mr. 200 meters. What is going on? Like, so yeah. Yo. Yo, Joe. What are you telling me? Yeah, that's what I'm I'm shooting a video at home, bro. Is it? I'm live on. Oh, right now. Yeah, right. sweet. Let me ask you a question, though, for the viewers, innit? Oh, right, right. Say no more. Give me one tip, one do and don't of how to cheat on your barber. One sign to look for that you that that is is a bad sign that your trim is gonna go bad. Alright, say no more. Um, right, so when you step up in the the barber shop, yeah, you have to do. Like, let's say this is your first time in it. You have to you have to view it. You get know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have to view how everyone's face is. If they're smiling, you know it's calm. If it's a bit just straight face. Now, if it's watching football, yeah, don't trust it. Do you know why? Because them ones where they lose focus. Yeah, they lose focus. Get me. I've been saying this to you, lot. <clears throat> Get me. I don't play with them things. And before I step into and I sit down on any barber seat, even if I know the guy and I trust him, I trust a blood cut barber. Fam, I pray. Yes, I you have to pray. God is in control. He's <laughs> not the guy that is in control. God has to be in control, fam. Because my hairline is too, Get too important. It's too important, fam. So, dude. I do, I do, it's to pray. You know what I'm saying? I say Holy Ghost, so enter the Baba. That's it. I don't enter the Baba. Old, or you have fever, please don't enter the seat because you'll be shaking. You understand? Can't have that. You understand? You have to have so a strong you, neck. You, yeah, exactly, right? Right, so you don't want to be doing hikihaka and shivering. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So just, you know, if you're sick, stay at home. Well, not yet. That's, that's, that's my advice for you, Sweet, you know man. You what I'm saying? Sweet. Yeah, man. No, Listen. Bro. I'm at one percent, so this phone's gonna die. But thanks for that advice, innit? Young shout out to Manny, Mr. Protonics. Yeah, man. Yeah. Love, man. I'll catch. You. I'll call you back in a sec after the video. Man. Definitely, mate. Safe, man. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, that is the end of the video. I did. I didn't give you five of don't don'ts, but you know what? Manny's just rounded all up for me. Be careful of where you seat yourself, and. If you're successful, you will be able to go to your normal barber when you go yard and he doesn't ask you any questions. I myself have been unsuccessful because my barber said to me when I went back home about two weeks ago. Eh, excuse me. I said, yeah, bro, you're all right. You're good. Happy New Year. Yeah. Oh. Why did you get your drink before? I know I can see your haircut before. Why did you get your cut? And at this point now, I'm like, I'm like, <sighs> like, He's asked me that question. I didn't plan for this. Oh my God, what am I going to do? You don't want that. That's why I had to give you tips on how to successfully do it because I've successfully done it a couple of times and um, my, uh, my, my, my track record is pretty good. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I hope you guys learn the do's and don'ts of how to cheat successfully on your barber or how to successfully cheat English language. Wow. I hope you guys learnt the do's and don'ts of how to successfully cheat on your barber. And... Um, yeah, many successes in the future, guys. You get me? You never want to sleep with a dead trim. You never want to. You never want to go out of a dead trim, man. Best wishes and best trim, trims. Best trim, trim. You know. Best trims to you. Hey, it's Mister Two Hundred. It's been. It's been real. It's been real. I told you that I'm coming. I'm coming with a bang. Twenty seventeen. It's been real. So yeah, man. Hope you lot enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share to many people, man. I'm trying to get to. You know, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I started about two months ago, three months ago, and I'm on 525, and I'm so grateful for that. So thank you for 525 real people subscribing to me, and um, love for all of that. So, yeah, man, you lot do your thing, yeah. Fresh trimmings, innit? Yeah, I mean, Mr. 200, happy. Believe in your blood club, Baba. Believe in your blood club, Baba. Friday, I just got a fresh fit. Believe in your blood club, Baba.